on last week's episode of The Foul Life. Time to go get Mallard to try. Got a little bit of a different crew with us this year. Got a good buddy, Steve Carmella. Alex's first time hunting Montana. Right now, right now. Get him. I love Montana. You're thinking we're going to kill at least one more Mallard in the decoys. There's going to be at least one greenhead. One greenhead. Coming to rest in the coys. OK. If we don't, I get to cut your hair at night, and I get to use clippers and scissors <laughs> and hair dye in any style that I want. And you have to keep that haircut until next Sunday night at 11.59 PM. If we do kill one more duck in the decoys, you can do a man and lantern with my back hair. No way. <laughs> no. Get him, Bob. <laughs> oh. Oh. I lost the bat. Lost the bat? What happens now? I guess. Uh oh. Waxing? How'd you know? <laughs> and then take your shirt off and lay down on your stomach. You want my stomach? Yep. Stay two of more than Maybe put like one eye right here, yeah. another one over here. Yeah. Nice big smile. <laughs> Montana, we're up here guys, and I'm telling you, it started off great, and again, I couldn't have had any more confidence with this mallard hunt that we were involved in on the Yellowstone River, and when me and Tom decided to bet each other, I thought, no problem. I'm gonna be cutting his hair, he's gonna be going to the New Year's Eve party looking like Boy George or Lady Gaga or somebody of that nature, and I was gonna be home scot-free, but it didn't turn out that way. One, one mallard drake comes into the decoys 15 minutes before shooting light, and he smokes it. Hadn't hit a duck all day, and all of a sudden, now he's Annie Oakley. I couldn't believe it. Pulling up to the salon, you know, in the back of my mind, I kept thinking that Chad's gonna back out on this, and he's not gonna fulfill his end of the bet. And so we walked in, we talked to the girls, and got everything set up. So we get up to Tom and Buddy's tanning salon, and Tom's, you know, he's pretty excited. Chad, he's not so excited. He's pretty nervous. I mean, he, <laughs> the man's about to get his, his back or his stomach waxed. It's okay. We'll evaluate me. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. We can wax that. Can you do a metal in there? I really don't think it'd show up. You don't have enough hair. It turns out that he didn't have that much hair on his back to where you could really see the mantle lantern. We decided, you know what? <laughs> was the dude on his chest and his stomach, which had plenty of hair, which it's got to be way more painful. Well, sorry for cussing. I'm just really nervous. Me too. You are? Yeah. Why? I've never yeah, done a freaking circle <laughs> or a smiley face. This is exceptional. On camera. <laughs> on, yeah, and on camera. I thought ready? it wasn't going to be on. Keisha, you ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> Guys, I'm telling you what, I'm scared. The drive over there, there was no conversation, no comedy, no cutting up. I didn't say a word. All I could think about is the pain I was about to go through. And now I get to the salon and it's real. I see the table. I see the wax. I see the lady walk out with no eyebrows. It's go time, and I don't want to be here right now. This one's going to, like, right now I'm nervous. I just peed a little bit. <laughs> so we kind of show the gal how we want to lay it out and how we want it to look, and and she finally got the idea of what we were doing. So we, we started pulling hair, and holy cow. <laughs> you guys want to talk about funny? What, are you going to count? Yes. Are you going to count to what? Three. Just go. On three, or were you going to say three? Two, three. Freddy, oh. Freddy. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> One, two, three. Get him, he's Oh, <laughs> oh Trumy Sage, I hate you. <laughs> Three. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna 
die. <laughs> I just wet my pants. <laughs> <laughs> You know, winning this bet and seeing Chad lay on that table uh, was absolutely hysterical. We had a ball. When Chad stood up, oh my God, it was so funny to see him with, <laughs> with this red two eyes on his chest and, and a big red smile. Oh my God, I died. It was so funny. We'll sit up. Let's see what... He, it's, it's up to him. He won the bet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can already see it now. Emails pouring into the Foul Life website. Hey, Chad, you got to lose some weight. Hey, Chad, nice hair. You look like a gorilla. Take off the sweater, buddy. I'm telling you what, guys, this is no joke. This hurts. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. It was fun. Your high fives? That was fun. You did it like you did. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>
Get him. That was sweet right there, baby. Big Montana honkers, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Not bad for a guy that gets his back waxed. Those birds wanted to Was that pretty land. or what? Oh, it's gorgeous. Those birds wanted to land. We had to keep just clucking them all the way. It worked out good. So you gotta watch that, guys. A lot of times these big birds, they're, they're lazy and they'll wanna stop short of you. So you gotta get on them, you know, just give them a single cluck or so just to keep them on line all the way up to the decoys. It worked out perfect. I don't know why the birds are still up here because it's cold. And this river system that we're hunting is absolutely loaded. If you ever get a chance, come shoot ducks in Geese in Montana. Stay tuned for more of the Foul Life. The Foul Life is brought to you by Dakota Decoy, Heavy Shot, Otis Technology, and High Viz. Get him, boys. Already missed it, you and I even gone. Look at the birds. Big stuff. Look at the belly on that goose. They are full birds. It's beautiful. So if I didn't have a hundred of them mounted already, <laughs> I would mount him, but that wing might be. I don't know yep. if that wing's mountable. Yeah. yeah, it might be. It's underneath. That's a pretty bird. It's a beautiful specimen of a yeah. Canada goose right there. Look at that. They're huge. Yeah. No wonder they can stay up here when it's sub zero. <laughs> Freaking Eskimo geese. No offense, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> You want him, Cody? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shooting, my friend. She's working, huh? That bird we're working to call good right there, boy. Yeah, man. Got four Three times. Single. Single, Single here, fish. straight out. <laughs> Get him, boys. Nice shooting, baby! <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice work, work, gentlemen. Dish, 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 dish. That's that the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> I got him. You're getting him? I got him. Wow, you're actually getting out of your blind? One, just one. Hey, three more. Three more. That was absolutely awesome. Come in, they're gonna get raise up a little bit, probably make one more pass. 20 yards, 15, 18, 20 yards. Smoked them. Steve Carmella, Tom Chamberlain, shooting the escorts. Heavy shot goose, blue box. Get him, boys. Oh, hello, Dolly. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> What's that? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Crushing them. Heavy shot. Crushing them. Is there Absolutely. a better combo? Oh. Heavy shot. Let's heavy count shot, make sure. We, we should have one Carlson more. Carlson show two. Escort. Look. Look how pretty these geese are, Carmel. I know. Look at this, too. Just keep coming. They're huge. Look at that. Was that some shooting or what? Huh? Thanks, brother. Hey. Appreciate it. No Happy to be in Montana, Steve? Yeah, thanks, Paul. I appreciate this. Yeah. Let it never be said.
that I could get you out of my head. The darkness surrounds me again. And let it be known that I've never felt so alone. This purgatory. Devil speaks, and words control me when I'm weak. I feel my life start to spin. Heaven or hell, just places in the stories that we tell of battles we'll never win. So hurry up and. Foul Life is brought to you by Hornady Ammunition, Buff Headwear, Under Armour, and Brigham Run. Guys, this provincial bounty has made it tough, and we're getting frustrated, there's no doubt about it, but we're gonna stay after it with Grant. I mean, he's keeping us fired up because he knows there's coyotes there. And finally, we find an oil field with a ton of tracks around it, get set up on a fence line, one series out of the jackknife, the rest is history. Grant's gun's pointed a little off to the right from where this dog's coming in, but there's a dip in between us and him, and then we only have a few seconds for Grant to get his sticks in position, so when that coyote comes back up, he's ours. Did you hear the thump? Did you hear that thump? Did you hear that thump? Yeah. I'm talking like, oh, I got the shanks. He just shot him at 30 yards. He come in like. <laughs> Clay's like, I'm just sitting here. I'm looking this way because I'm thinking, sure as heck they're gonna come because there's all that big brush country over there and it's wide open behind us. Coyote tracks polluted through here. So I'm just concentrating because I, I had my gun like this. I'm like, they're going to come over that hill. It's not going to be go time when you see them. I'm sitting here like this, and Chad or Clay's like, don't move. Don't move. And I can't, I can't see nothing. <laughs> Finally, he went down the hill. Chad's like, or Clay's like, now, now. Get over. And he says, he'll be coming through that hill. Perfect. Good call, buddy. Beautiful. Awesome stuff. Great shot. Good call on Chad. Yes, Chad. Awesome as usual, my friend. Awesome, 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 awesome. That coyote came from our hard left 
And what I did there is I just stayed quiet, let Clay know where he was at. But instead of getting on the call again and making him beeline at us, which would have been to Grant's hard left, I would let him just naturally drop down into this basin. And then as soon as he got out in front of us, Clay did a little lip smack and I did a little more light calling on the jackknife. And sure enough, he came right at us, right out in front of Grant. Grant didn't have to shift a bunch, making a bunch of noise. The more experience that you get on stand, the more comfortable you're gonna get with your sticks and your gun. And that's what Grant did. Got in the right position and shot that dog at probably 35 yards, maybe 40 right through the neck. Let's go check him out. Another big, great, great big Saskatchewan coyote. Guys, you can do it wherever you're at. 365 days a year. I don't care if you're East Coast or even getting out there now. Canada, Western United States, Midwest, the North, the South, they're everywhere. And you can hunt them. Some states you need a hunting licenses. Some states like Nevada, you do not. But check your local game regulations with your Department of Wildlife or your DNRs and make sure you're legal. Make sure you're using legal weapons. Uh, we like to use the Howell line of rifles, um, Verona and Escort line of shotguns, dead coyote for our shotgun ammunition by heavy shot and the Hornady rifle ammo. And all of it works very well. I mean, it's not an expensive sport to get into, but the results are key. That is a beautiful coyote. We got her to finish at less than 40 yards, somewhere 35, 40 yards. And there's your results right there. Big, thick head, winter fur, February 2010. We're up here filming our new show now, Dead Dog Walking, coming at you in the spring of 2011. And uh, you'll see this hunt along with many others on it. But as for now, catch us on the foul live. We'll see you guys here in a little bit.